Good evening, everyone. My name is Michael Crowley, and I have the honor of representing the Fuel Cell Data Center team. Tonight, I'm going to tell you a little bit about our project, some of the tests that we've conducted on key system elements, as well as predictions from our mathematical model. But first, a little bit of background. So as we progress into our technological era, we store a wealth of information in data centers, which require tremendous amounts of energy. Now, currently, our world energy demands are being mainly met through oil and coal, the burning of which produces, fossil, uh, produces greenhouse gases, leading to the degradation of our environment. We have created a system capable of providing continuous power to a data center by means of completely renewable energy. So seen here on the left is a cartoon of our system. Energy enters our system through solar panels at the top. Some of this energy is sent directly to the data center or server rack here. However, the remaining energy is sent through an electrolyzer in order to be turned into hydrogen for later use. This hydrogen is then run through a fuel cell to run the, the data center during non-peak solar hours. Seen on the, on the right-hand side here is a power profile of several key system elements. The data center modeled in yellow is a constant load, so it has a straight line. Our irregular solar energy is seen by this uh, jagged blue line here. Well, the gray area between these two curves represents the energy that we send to our electrolyzer. So speaking of our electrolyzer, we ran dynamic, uh, dynamic cycling tests on our electrolyzer early in our course. So our electrolyzer was hooked up to a solar array, and the irregular solar energy produces an irregular volume flow rate of hydrogen out of the electrolyzer, seen here in this blue line. So the irregular hydrogen flow rate actually, uh, actually gives us a rather linear increase in pressure seen here in orange. This is desirable as it simplifies some of the controls in our model of our overall system. Moving on to our mathematical model, this graph here represents the alleviated cost or alleviated social cost with the implementation of our system. Previous data indicates that with a solar array size of 400 square meters and a hydrogen tank size of 6.3 kilograms, we can achieve 100% renewability. This also means that we have a, a $500 uh, alleviated social cost. And this doesn't seem like much, but all, of these, all this data comes from a six kilowatt server rack. Now just imagine your typical 100 megawatt data center. So our team has a lot that we'd like to talk with you about. So please come check us out at our booth later on. Thank you all so much for your time and enjoy the rest of your evening.